What's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one, I'm going to be giving a tour of the Cranberry Bog Settlement's bunker, which the settlement itself is located right down here from Vault 76 in the Cranberry Bog. If you missed the tour video over this place, I'll have a link to it in the description. Also, just for your guys' convenience, I'll have it pop up at the end of this video as well. I highly recommend it because I do go over a lot of information in it besides just, you know, a tour. In this one though, I'm just going to be showing y'all what's in inside the bunker here. We're sticking with the same theme down here as we did for up above. In case you did miss the previous video over touring the settlement by the way, one thing to know is it's supposed to feel as if scavengers are settling here and building this place from the ground up. As you will notice, there is a scavenger woodcutter at this spot too. He definitely helps out the theme of this settlement, and he is beneficial to have around. He can give you sometimes three bulk wood for doing this. Check this out. Scorch for the ferals don't cut you, but the rats will. I'm afraid I've split more logs than I can use. Would you like some? So as you can see, there's quite a bit of responses to choose from. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the one that says, I'll take the wood, but you deserve some caps as payment, I insist. And those caps that we give him as payment is 20 caps. And here's what he rewards us with sometimes. I wasn't expecting any payment at all. Here you go. A little compensation for your generosity. Three bulk wood. That's 90 wood scraps. Some other times, however, he will reward you with two bulk wood, so keep that in mind. But still, that's quite a bit of wood scraps just for 20 caps. It's a deal. But that's not all he's beneficial for having around. I go over more useful information about him in the video where I did the tour over this settlement, which I already told y'all where you can find that. Don't want to waste too much time talking about him when I've already talked about a lot over him already. I feel like I'm just repeating myself when I just discussed this in the previous video over touring the settlement. Actually, back here I was going to originally place the shelter at, but decided it would be a little too difficult to find if players come to the settlement to try to go inside the bunker. So instead I just added like a little secret back there that you know players can find and put the shelter over here in the center area which is super easy to locate. And how I created it so it's like this you know inside the foundation I just placed the shelter down first and then I just placed down the foundation and then bada bing bada boom I had it like this. It was that easy. And yes I did choose to use the free bunker just because I felt like it blended with the theme more. I didn't want something too over the top because the scavengers that are living here don't have much so they're not going to be building something too over the top down below their settlement so yeah anyways now let's go ahead and get into the bunker over the scavenger settlement that was built in the cranberry bog all right here's the moment of truth here's what the beginning of the shelter looks like I've been kind of nervous to upload this just because i'm not max budget so i keep telling myself i can do more why upload it without max budget but i don't know i i feel like i'm done I, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, if you do, maybe consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on the video sometime during this tour. That is, of course, if you do actually enjoy this bunker or whatever. But, yeah. I guess, first things first, let's just go over the theme of this. Like I mentioned above, I'm going with the similar theme that we have above, which is a scavenger theme. So things down here aren't going to look super clean and high tech. It's as if, you know, the scavengers found these things and just worked with them because, well, they don't have much, but they make things work with what they got. Anyways, also I made sure not only the shelter was built from scavengers, I also made sure that it was involved with the cranberry bog too down here, since that was a major theme above as well. You'll notice further in the shelter tour, I made it seem like they were kind of studying the cranberry bog flora in a way. But I'm not going to be getting too much into that right now, I just want to let you all know the theme over what you'll be seeing throughout the shelter. But yeah, for now, let's just go ahead and get into a quick tour over this place, and then I'll be getting into more details after the tour. So if you may be curious about something, stick around so afterwards and your question may be answered. So yeah, that was the beginning of the shelter. This next spot is the lobby hangout area. It's also where they can eat at and just rest up and relax. Basically this area serves a lot of purposes. There's also a restroom over here as well. Nothing too over the top going on in here. And you will notice throughout this tour, you will not see the actual vault ceiling whatsoever or anything to involve the vault. I tried to remove that atmosphere and create my own, if that makes sense. Anyways, moving on from the multi-purpose serving room, we have the area where I tried to make it seem like the scavengers that were down here 
were trying to study the cranberry bog flora. I wanted to involve the cranberry atmosphere in some kind of way down here, and this I thought kind of made sense. You know, the scavengers that were settling at this place were also studying the flora down here. So that's the reason why I got the blue lighting mixed with the carnivora plants. So it's like maybe they were experimenting with them and keeping them cold for some reason or something. Who knows why they were exactly studying this. They could have been studying it for medicine, they could have been studying it for weaponry, or they could have been studying it just because simply it's around their surroundings. I don't know, the possibilities are endless. But yeah, this is the most important room in the whole shelter because this is what's making the story over this shelter for the Cranberry Bog Settlement. They are now kind of intertwined together, which I really like. I also got the green wall set up going on inside of this place too just because i thought it blended well with this being a room where they study flora at but yeah anyways this next area is where the scavengers can rest up at and change if they need to but yeah that's what i got going on down here in the cranberry bog shelter for a quick tour now let's go ahead and get into more details about each area down here hopefully this helps answer some of your questions that you might have and helps explain a little bit more about what's going on down here let's go ahead and get into what we're seeing here in the beginning i guess i'll start with the green wall that i got going on on both sides that i think some of you may be curious about how i made this was thanks to how we have more freedom now down the shelter on how we can build you know such as making things float all i did was just flip this central sign around and just you know simply made a wall out of it i also made sure to hang things on it as well to get the point across a little bit more but yeah it's a little custom wall that you can do if you have the burrows signs which in case you don't know you can get these as a reward from completing the daily ops there's more of this around in this shelter i will mention it does take a while to do and it can be a pain sometimes like sometimes it won't let you place it where you want to exactly you gotta kinda like twist and turn it a little bit to get it to work but eventually it will work out that's what i got going on in here also of course i got you know the furniture set up to scavenger like i got different things down here that don't look in perfect condition you know it looks like they might have found this out in the wasteland and just brought it down here for them to use that was the idea over the furniture i chose and i wanted to mix red with green just because i felt like it popped more and it went well with the cranberry bulk theme that i was also trying to intertwine down here too so that's the reason why I chose those colors in particular. Also added the Helvetia flag right there. It phased through the little wall so you don't see the whole clipping. Also hung this up on the wall to make it feel sort of like this is where some guards would be at too. That's why I added this footlocker and this kind of table here right with the American flag. But yeah, this is where the guards would be posted up at. And something else that I wanted to point out is how I got these rugs over here set up. I have to say it helped. Uh, with blending this area more I also made the walls right here and placed the mats above too so you can't just hop out and see the other side because let's just say the foundation ends where this roofing is and all of this was just a huge gap so I could go on the other side and see all the ugliness I, I guess we'll call it um, yeah this was a way to make it feel more like a tunnel system instead because if you can go out that way you see the whole actual vault atmosphere and I was trying to avoid that I was trying to make it seem like the scavengers dug out this and they created this tunnel system right here so that's the reason why also it's not just perfectly straight you can tell just by looking at the foundation here I also made sure you couldn't get out on this side too the rug actually blended pretty well with the roof thanks to the freedom we now have down in here on how we can place things it's nice getting the central sign to place around this i will say was a pain but it eventually came together pretty decently for the theme i was trying to go for i feel like um, anyways for this next area here the tunnel system widens out as you can see i didn't add all the central signs in this area just because I wouldn't be able to I would actually max my budget majorly um, <laughs> because just doing this room and the uh, flora study room I'm already at this budget I don't think I'd be able to make 
this whole room green although that would be cool it would definitely feel more like they dug out this place but yeah instead i just went with the regular walls in here also mixed and matched them as well stuck with the theme above and like i mentioned before the ceiling flows throughout the whole vault to give off more of the scavenger atmosphere down here um, also something to point out as you can see different roughed up furniture just different stuff stacked on one another because they're hoarding and whatnot down here just taking what they can use also if you notice at this table as well all different chairs and on this side here there used to be a pool table over here but I just felt like it took up too much room and it wouldn't really make sense to be playing pool with you know this side so close to the table and I don't know I just feel like they wouldn't really have much room to play pool so instead I put this down here just for something else they could do while hanging out while being down here but yeah that's basically what's going on down in this area um, I will mention Crooked 60 also helped decorate majorly within this place right here don't want to take full credit for decorating overall I feel like the theme did come out pretty decently I feel like it actually feels like you know scavengers were settling down in this shelter um, anyways in this next room as I mentioned before there's radioactive signs outside of it just to explain a bit more over what we're about to be entering into and when we enter into this place we just see a bunch of green as well which goes with the radioactive feel also and it also blends with the flora feel too. I don't know. I think this custom green wall definitely went well with inside this place. Like I mentioned before, this is the most important room out of all of this. Because without this room, the shelter wouldn't really be as involved with the cranberry bog above. Unless you count the red colors for the furniture. But the colors on the furniture don't really have as much of a story as the flora being studied down here. I feel like that flows better with the Cranberry Bog settlement. But I feel like the flora here helps give the shelter more of a purpose on why the scavengers were down here. Also have a radioactive barrel in there to make it seem like maybe they were using some kind of radioactive materials on some of the flora. Or maybe they were storing some of the flora inside this barrel to use. I don't know, the story could go plenty of ways, but the overall goal was just to try to involve the cranberry bog flora with this shelter to make it feel more involved with the settlement above, like the scavengers were coming down here and doing things that lived above in the settlement. Anyways, in this next room here, like I mentioned before, it's just the area where they can rest up at, have a few uh, changing areas in here, like dressers ventilation system clean industrial fan also use this wallpaper too in case some of you may have been curious about it it's the weathered wood wallpaper it goes good with scavenger theme or raider theme or something more roughed up i feel like doesn't feel too fancy or over the top clean industrial fan though kind of does but i don't know it still looks kind of roughed up too it doesn't look super polished overall i'm happy with how this area came out I will say it was a pain to get the ceiling to work out. Oh my gosh. Just because of how the walls curved here and stuff. Which, by the way, to get this to work, I had to use flooring and not actual roofing up here. So yeah, just keep that in mind. It can take some time if you do try to do something like this. But overall, I feel like it's worth it. It helps pull together the theme a bit more. Like I was saying before, I didn't want the actual vault atmosphere involved with this shelter whatsoever unfortunately i had to with the door in the beginning but that's about all you see from the actual utility vault I tried to make the theme feel more scavenger like inside of here but you don't see too much of it but yeah something else i feel is pretty important to mention is how i got the uh, carnivora plant set up here which by the way you can get these from the atomic shop i'm sure they may make a return sometime so just be on the lookout for them but yeah all i did to make this happen was hang on let me get some better lighting the reclaimed deep mining gas mass because of the light nice so as you can see it seems like the plant is kind of planted within the dirt piles and how this was done was just by doing the same trick i did above with getting the utility shelter to fuse with the foundation so all you do is just simply place the plant first and then you add a dirt tile 
But you get the dirt tiles from the settlers. You just got to get a high enough reputation. And eventually you'll be able to buy the plan for gold bullion. I'll have a link in the description to all of the rewards you can get from the settlers in case you may be curious. As well as the raiders too. I'll have links in the description to all of their rewards in the description. In case you may be curious about some of them. But uh, yeah, this is one of them that you can get the dirt tiles. Right now we can't actually place our own crops in the shelter, unfortunately, but we can make it seem like we can plant these. Actually, you know what, while we're doing this, let's go ahead and find out other plants we can make seem like they're being planted. I'm just gonna place a couple down here and experiment. This. Okay. Now let's go to floor, one at a time. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. So we can plant the little holiday tree here <laughs> that we got for free, I believe, a while back in the atomic shop. I believe this was free. Don't really remember right now. Let's see if we can make it seem like these could be planted. Yelp. Oh, that's really cool. So there's just a few you can do where you can make it seem like, you know, they're being planted in your vault for now. Who knows? Maybe eventually Bethesda may make it so we can plant crops down in our shelter that would be awesome it's probably really tricky to do there's definitely got to be some complications behind doing all that but uh yeah i guess that's all wrapping up this video everybody hopefully you found this enjoyable and you learned something new out of these extra little details that i shared with you in the end if you found this enjoyable by the way consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on the video that would be greatly appreciated as always though that's totally up to you i'm out of here there everyone thanks for taking the time watching and listening we're gonna try to stay safe out there during these unusual times peace